Kamaru Usman, he comes in having won seven in a row, and if you talk to the man, he really believes right now he's one of, if not the best 170-pound fighter in the world. He's got a very difficult game to deal with. He punches his way into his takedowns, in and out of the clinch very well. Outstanding athlete, strong when he gets on top. Got to hold a single. Straight to a guillotine attempt. Oh, he doesn't have guard. He doesn't have guard. He's on the rocks. Big right hand by Usman. Yeah. Nice knee to the body again. Usman's doing a fantastic job of closing the distance and getting a hold of Tyron and keeping Press forward. Appeared to land there Ooh. partially. Again, more body work by Usman. He's really. Really working that right hand of the body very well. He goes to a knee tap, transitions, tries to switch to a double. Wimby does a good job. The thing about Usman, the other thing that they were calling for was the leg kicks. The thing about Usman is he can do this all day. Yep. And it's one of his strengths. He has incredible cardio. Might be making the, the right game plan, staying high on the numbers, staying high on the offense. Oh! oh and he hit lands. Tyron with a big elbow. Let's see what Woodley can do. That was a big shot. Woodley retreats, then he thought about a takedown, nothing doing. Wow! Usman's just out wrestling Woodley right now. Kamaru Usman has sensational performances. The question was always, how good is he when he fights the best of the best? We're finding out now, he's very good. And even when he wasn't getting finishes, Joe, he's beaten guys 30 to 25 times three. I mean, he has been dominant in the UFC all time. That was only the second time he's ever been taken down in the UFC. Rory McDonald, the other to do. He's been trying to wear the body out so he can't stay in his back arch for too long. He's only got to wait 13 seconds. But if he lets his back flat, who's thinking, there it is, right there, he gets out. But still, dominant round, dominant incredibly round. Dominant. Look, and still does not get, he pop, tries to pop the hips, does not get anywhere with it. Amazing round for the challenge. Maybe a 10-8 given the new score. It's huge. Right on the temple. This is the really incredible. Look at the power and the nice knee to the body by the champ. But again, Kamaro digging with that right hand of the body. I mean, he's working so hard in that. Look at that. Constantly digging, digging, digging. I mean, they will sap your energy. You need like a damage index. Yeah. Oh, again. Nice Look at this. And there's a knee. Nice elbow on the break by Usman. Well, he, he's kind of outdone everything. He's outstruck him. He's outgrappled him. He's outworked him. He turned it into a dirty wrestling. Usman and... Turn around. Listen to me tomorrow. It's a fight. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, wow. I mean, fight. What does that mean? Well, Mark Goddard doesn't know how to wrestle. That's what that means. I just don't understand why he would say that. Seen them wrestle, and he thinks that that's not fighting. Couple nice uppercuts from Woodley. He's hurt. Huge punches. Oh, oh big punches. He's looking to finish it here. Woodley's trying to get his respect back, but he can't. Oh, huge oh, They're both hurting. But Woodley's hurt bad, though. Kamaru Usman, five minutes or fewer away from completing his mission. We'll see if Tyron Woodley goes for broke. He has to go for broke. If Usman is just standing at the end of this round, in my opinion, he's done enough to win the title. Trying to jump with the hero goals. Big takedown for Kamara Usman. Well, Woodley, we were all waiting for him to unload and let some combinations go. He kind of just stayed stagnant through the whole fight, and Usman just stayed ahead, always first, keeping a high offense and out grappling, out wrestling, out striking, and beating Tyron Woodley. Body shots, tons of uppercuts. They traded. They had an awesome round here. These two traded, and you know, Woodley landed a big knee, but Usman just came over the top with elbows and just huge slam at the end while Woodley was looking for a guillotine. This fight was 50-44. 50-44 and 50-45 for the winner by unanimous decision and new UFC undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian. with me. I know you've been telling them for a long, long time, and I've been wanting this fight. Now, I'm going to be honest. I might not be the best striker in the world. I might not be the best pure wrestler in the world. But when it comes to mixing this shit up, I'm the fucking best welterweight on the planet right now.
Well, there is no question about that now. The, the question coming into this fight was how would you do against the best in the world? It turns out you are the best in the world. And gets him down, and now Usman trying to stay busy here. 30 seconds to go now. Yep. And he shot there. What Usman is trying to do is trying to show him, like, I'm going to hit you. Wow. That'll rock him. Usman maintaining control. Final seconds of this first round. We are back in 30 seconds after this on FS1. Strikes in the center. Kamara Usman going for the takedown. Beautiful double leg. Look at the elevation here. Boom. Slammed him down. Well, look at this up kick. One thing about Usman style is it makes you change gears in a sense of you're suddenly in this static position. Trading here to end the second round. One more time to the clinch, and there is the horn. Back to his feet. Look at this knee fall by that short elbow right above the eye. But still advancing is Usman. Heavy body shots. And a body kick there from Dos Anjos. Usman showing a lot of confidence in his striking. Man, he's throwing big bombs. Staying right in the phone booth. Under three minutes in the third round. And another takedown for the Nigerian nightmare. Usman punching his way in again. They trade jabs. And one more takedown attempt to end up. And once again, he's against the fence. This is right where Kamar Usman wants him. Usman starting to put it together here. Then going in for the takedown. Now he goes in and dumps him down pretty easily that time. Angle just isn't there. Final seconds of round four. More dominant than the last for Kamaru Usman. But Dos Anjos has survived to it. Can't take your punches home with you. Gotta spin them all. Looks like he's doing it. More elbows from Usman as we hit the final ten seconds. Dos Anjos, heart of a warrior, which we knew he was. But this night will belong to the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Inside the takedown. Beautiful stuff from Kamaru Usman. It seems like it got here. As the fight progressed, the more it got, the more minutes went by, the easier it was for Kamaru Usman to get the takedown. And I like what we saw inside with the body shots. I like it. Hassan's struggling to breathe. I can hear it here from the desk. Well, as far as Usman may be able to finish this. They don't come much bigger than Haider Hassan. Look like a tap That's there. it. Kamaru Usman comes up huge for the Black Zillions. A finish, though, would certainly be a new shot for Usman. Oh, hammer fist on that eye. Thinks he belongs in that class. There's a takedown. He's trickling in a terrible position. Yeah, I'm absolutely ready to see him get tested. I thought he was going to be tested a little more tonight. Right. But just incredibly impressed by what he brings to the table. Strickland's trying now. And you see the cut land on Strickland. That jab just rips his eye up from Usman early and he looks for the big overhead. He's already wobbling on that low leg kick. Beautiful body strike there by Kamaru Usman as well. Wow. Oh, knocked down for Usman. Some early adversity here for Sergio Marais. Tricky stuff that they're doing. I'm seeing it. When Marais gets in that pocket, he's chucking heat just like Vita Brothers teach. Oh, and that is it. Is down and out. That is it. There is the finish. That of course, this knockout. He had to make a statement. Bam. He landed it. Usman did not care. If Marais hit him, he wanted to brawl, he wanted to hit this man, he wanted to put him out, put himself in some dangerous positions to get it, and he earned a grinding style that Kamal had the advantage. Big slam. Yeah. Take down once again for Usman. Open up, we're cutting him. Max still trying to scramble. Now on his back. Look at how strong. He's going to get slammed. 
Kamaru Usman with another takedown, and he goes back to work. For a ton of takedowns he can't get. Just as I said, he goes for one, trying to pull. In the Col the Colby Covington fight, he went for it over and over and over again. It cost him a ton of gas. Fighting a little bit more efficiently, but still on the losing end. <laughs> the referee's not going to put up with that. None of that. Well, Danny Mayo, once again, as we've seen in 